Hey there, cousin here, and welcome back to Always Doing. Today I'm kicking off the mid-month book bash started by Doris over at Aldi Books. The idea is to read as much as you can over a long weekend, Friday to Monday, and I'm very much looking forward to it. My September has gone off to a good start. My focus of reading books, like continuing on in series, that's going really well. I'm also checking off arcs a little bit as I go feeling accomplished, also a bunch of buddy reads. So the goal for this weekend is to read a bunch. I'm going to go for my usual thousand pages. Rarely happens, but we can always try. And while normally I would show you a spread, this month I'm doing something a little different. This month I am using this sheet to keep track of my reading. It has the days here. It's not the entire month. It goes up to the 21st and the books down the left hand side. So each vertical line is a day's worth of reading. And I can see how many pages I'm reading each day, the books that I finished get the stamp, and this, because I have some buddy reads going, a lot of stuff to keep track of. And this is turning out quite useful, and we're all ready, MMBB, to tally up my pages for these days. So the books that you can expect to see include Unnatural Causes by Richard Shepard. He is a forensic pathologist, and he talks about all of the, you know, figuring out how people died. It's very interesting, liking it a lot. This is a buddy read with Louise over at A Strong Belief in Wicker, which isn't a booktube channel. She's a commenter. I'll link to her blog. And we are very much enjoying through this, going slowly because life. And we're about halfway through now, so we're going to be chipping away at this a little bit. Then we have The Flame and the Flower by Catherine E. Woodowis which I'm reading with Alba over at Sariella and Cynthia over at Book Whimsy. I'm very glad I'm reading it with them because it's enraging. It is considered the first modern romance, but uh, not very enlightened. Let me tell you that. We're just two chapters from the end. Post-its don't mark good things. And yeah, it's going to be very good to get this one done. It should be finished over the weekend. Another current read is A Lot Like Adios by Alexis Daria. As you can see, this is an advanced copy. It comes out next week, Tuesday. High priority. I'm already about 15% in one of our primas of power. Is It's a second chance romance with her like best friend in high school, but they realized they had something more going on right before he moved cross country, which wasn't cool. So excited to get through this. I love Daria. Another current book I don't have a cover to show you, but it's Conspirator by C.J. Cherry, part of the Foreigner series, and it's book 10. And I'm reading it with Rachel over at Kalanati. And yeah, I just love that series. We'll be chipping through that like I will be for the other buddy reads. And because I've been on an Erica Ridley cake, I may just pick up Perks of Loving a Wallflower. This is coming out from forever, I believe in October. And I'll have links to everything down below, release dates and the rest. And I am so excited for this sapphic. One of the characters is more gender fluid, I think, but for this romance, it should be amazing. And whatever else I may feel like picking up over the weekend, if you saw my last video, which was quite a big haul, you'll see that I have all kinds of things to choose from, no matter what my mood may be. So like I said, the goal, 1000 pages. We'll see how it goes. Um, finishing a lot like audio is the big, big priority. And then, of course, keeping up with the buddy reads. But after that, it's a little bit of a free-for-all. So let's head right into it. So this string of tears has been doing amazingly. It loves the window it's in. And it has been needing to be repotted for a while. So I'm going to do that. It's in a size 2, I think, right now. That's a 3.5. There's some 4s over there. So let's see what it ends up fitting in. So here we are in its new pot. Can't even really tell maybe, but I ended up weaving around some of the shorter lengths, hoping that it'll fill in because there were some big empty spots. And this half, for whatever reason, is doing better than that half. So I wrapped around, you can see here, some of the other ones, but hopefully I'll be happy with a little bit more room to grow. It's Friday night. I went on a long walk searching for acetaminophen, aka Tylenol, aka paracetamol, because it is what's recommended after the second dose of vaccine, and everyone knows that, and it's sold out everywhere. So in preparation, I'm like trying to find it somewhere. We have been looking for days. I finally got some. You have no idea how lucky I am to get some. So excited, and I've never seen brand name Tylenol before. 
here. So that was great. Um, before I left, I finished chapter nine of Flame in the Flower and it was horrendous. It was so bad. This poor woman has been forced into marriage and forced into the marriage bed as well and just... Nope, nope, nope. So there's one chapter left. I think I'm going to blast through that tonight, get it done, get it out of my system, and then move on to fun stuff tomorrow. Saturday morning is for baseball and stitching. So I don't think that the frame has moved since the last time you've seen it. And last time I think it was more like this that needed to be stitched. So I filled all this in. There's a flower here. You can see the leaf, which makes things a little bit more interesting. And I'm sick of this because it is four colors, mostly kind of random throughout. And it's just a pain. It's not fun. I cannot wait to get back to the other side of this piece where there's lots of leaves waiting for me. And here's Ootani. He hit a home run in the first inning. I'm not sure they're going to pitch to him very much <laughs> here in the third. Saturday night and it has been a day for Buddy Reads. Like I think I said I finished Flame in the Flower last night. Awful. I, when I went to bed, I ended up starting a book about the rules of baseball because I expected it to be completely different and it was. I fell asleep during the introduction so I didn't get very far but it served its purpose. I got my brain off of Flame in the Flower. And today I've spent on whole bunches of other buddy reads. I caught up on a Conspirator by CJ Cherry. Read over 100 pages in that, I think. That went really well. Um, reading more of the book by Forensic Pathologist. That's going well. And tonight I want some romance and I want something off the wall. And what was just released, but was it Quarantined Alien Beast? by Robin Lovett. I have read the first two books in this series. I really liked the first one. The second one was okay. This one, I have some issues with the premise because the hero has been kept in a cage for a long time because he's not, because he's dangerous basically and because he's a beast something something. This could be handled really well or it might be disturbing. So we'll love it. Usually it does a good job with stuff. So we'll see how this goes. This should be quick and fun and silly and not of this world, which is exactly what I need right now. So I'm here on Sunday afternoon and it's been a pretty productive day. I finished Quarantine Alien Beast by Robin Lovett and I really like this. I think this is my favorite in the series so far. It backs off of the banana pants because this is about a world where there is a pandemic that's even worse than the one we know and aliens come with antibodies that can only be delivered through sexual fluids and yeah stuff happens so it's erotic romance and this one backed off the weird and went a little bit more for heart and it speaks to this particular pandemic moment as in like the delta wave in a way that I thought was super interesting. So I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Then I've taken some stabs at A Lot Like Adios by Alexis Staria. This is coming out Tuesday, so it's priority. And there's something about 10, 15% in that bothered me. Like something your character did where I'm like, oh, if you did that to me, I'd be so mad. And I kind of dreaded coming back to the page until it was resolved, but it was resolved pretty quickly. And now I just jumped to 25% like that. Quite hot second chance romance. Be great to finish this by tomorrow. And I'm telling myself that once I do finish Adios, I can pick up uh, The Perks of Loving a Wallflower by Erica Ridley because I am on a Ridley binge this month. Her writing is exactly the thing I need. So um, now that I'm through the icky part of the other book, it's smooth sailing. So hopefully this is another thing that will be read soon. Good morning. It's Monday the 13th, which should be scarier than Friday the 13th, if you ask me. But um, it's a great morning. It's an ugly morning. It's just humid and kind of gross. And I'm going to have to go out in it and do errands, which I'm not looking forward to. But um, yeah, so yesterday I didn't read as much as I wanted. I still, and I started in a new book. Uh, so you think you know baseball. And it's about rules, and I've been watching a lot of baseball lately because Otani of the Angels is amazing, and Japanese broadcasting covers pretty much all the Angels games now. 
because of him. So I'm enjoying watching the broadcasts and realizing that I don't know a lot of the intricacies of the rules and I would like to learn how to keep score. I love keeping score when I'm watching sports that I really like and baseball is not my sport. I'm a hockey person, but one makes do. And yeah, so this book goes over each rule, most of the rules, with real life situations that actually happened to kind of illustrate the calls. And it's a little dry, as you would expect about a rule book, but also interesting. So I think I'm going to just slowly chip through that when I want something that's not fiction. <laughs> and I have a few hours before the Angels game and before I need to run my errands, which is this afternoon. So try and get some reading in with some caffeine. Yes, caffeine. It's always an exciting day when I get to break open a new package of oolong tea. I haven't tried Golden Turtle yet. I love Hadavala's Two Sisters, and this is supposed to be somewhat similar, so I'm excited to try it. And when you're measuring oolong, you need accuracy. Tuesday morning, so it's time to wrap up. I thought for a second there I would be able to get to a thousand pages. That didn't happen, but I'm still really happy with where I ended up. And I checked off some bingo squares. So let me turn this around so you can see. So here's my tracking sheet. I ended up with 749 pages over mid-month book bash. See that after that 318 there, I thought there was some hope. But um, I got decent into a lot like adios. Still hope to kind of finish that today. That would be great read a whole bunch of Conspirator Buddy read yesterday, a little bit more of Think You Know Baseball. This is turning into a potato chip read, just kind of nice to fill in little blank moments because each rule reads as its own separate little anecdote. And so there's that. And then as far as the bingos go, I have so many of them doing this month, but Fall in Love Bingo, I was able to add a new release. I'm kicking myself because I could have used it for sick bed I should have used it for sick bed scene. But um, my personal rules, once I write it in there, it's set in stone, so we're going with that. And for Sci-Fi September, the Quarantine Alien Beast ended up counting. I put Unpopular and Heard of, um, just because I think it's only been heard of in romance circles. Um, alien Presence Queer, the um, Heroine's Gender Fluid, Non-Human MC, and there's that. And also, because I'm reading a lot like Adios, and the heroine is bio, which means that it would count for sapphic September, which means I ended up printing out <laughs> this. And between Adios and the Perks of Loving a Wallflower, I'm going to get a decent start at this board. I'm excited. So overall, fairly successful weekend. I'm happy with how things turned out. If you would like to talk about any of the books, any of the life stuff, let's have a gab down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.